We are human beings living in this day and age. And I can't help but be influenced by the world around me. And so, in order to be personally authentic, truly authentic, I have to address the world that I come from. It's that intersection between the non-native and the native world that I find really interesting and really full of, um, of, of inspiration, like things to think about. Oh, okay, so the, so the intersection between the, uh, like a contemporary art piece in the native world or an object in the native world. These two pieces, in fact, really hang well together because they're both my, it's both my mother's looking at this world through her eyes, which are very modern eyes. She has very modern eyes, even though she was, you know, born in a little house in the middle of Oklahoma. The, uh, is a concession stand at a powwow, and um, uh, it's a really big deal when the kidneys, like we eat kidneys, and it's a really big deal when they, when they offer them for sale. And then of course, Indian tacos, and fry bread and pop, snow cones. And this is where most of all of my work happens, which is over here. It's my bench, which I located in front of two windows and underneath the skylight with track lighting over the top. But the process is really tedious and time consuming. Those are all hand stitches. When they look at it, they're like, oh, wow, that's so nice. But then when you look at the backside, you actually see the amount of hand. I mean, each one of those is this. And so when you're looking at even like bigger pieces, like, you know, cradle boards or really fancy or made things, Brain tan deer hide is a traditionally tanned hide where the brain, the hair is scraped off and then the brains and liver of the animal are rubbed into the hide uh, until it's soft and it's a very long laborious process. So these hides run between $150 to $300, $400 for a good deer hide. So they're really expensive materials to work with. And then They'll take it a step further and they'll smoke it. Mm. And that is a smoked, smoked hide. I use it in the canvas. And so this is like, this is the traditional material that everything we wore and used has been made out of for the past, how many ever millions of generations that we've been on this continent. These hides is my direct link to that past. Mm. I like them because, because of what I said earlier, they're my direct link to this, to the, I hate that word traditional the direct link to my, to the people who came before. These are the shoes that are at uh, the Smithsonian, They're called Kiowa Odd Days. Beadwork really is kind of the ugly stepchild. It's not established, it's not jewelry, it's not made from fine, fine, uh, you know, gold and silver and precious stone. It's not pottery, but it's already extremely well established here, and here not just in the United States, but all over the world. It's not like um, paintings or fine art, it's, beadwork, it's just beads. It was with the second pair of shoes that I realized I could tell a narrative, that I could do pictorial work, that I wasn't limited to the lane stitch, the traditional lane stitch. And it was at that moment that I kind of broke away from the herd and I started telling stories because I can do pictorial work on the shoes and they don't have to match. You actually can read the shoe all the way around, which is the way that I make all of my shoes now is that, that, that they don't match. But I'm more interested in the object helping me to tell the narrative. If the object can help me tell, tell the narrative, then I can continue on with that narrative. Lately, the shoes have been limiting the narrative that I feel like I'm able to, to say. If I come up with something that like really pops for me that I can put on shoes, I will do it in a heartbeat. But I just, it's not happening for me right now and I'm not gonna force it. Even though I'm sure I could make a ton of money and I could sell a pair at any market, blah, blah, blah. I just, I don't, I don't feel it. I have many ribbons from a lot of shows, Indian Market, The Herd Fair, the golden best of show. That right there is probably worth its weight in gold. That's the ribbon that started my career.